all right what's up youtuber subscribers coming at you guys with another quick video update of the k24 uh but before all of this i do want to thank every single person that has been following the build i really appreciate everybody uh we got to a thousand subscribers and um the build is definitely going there's a lot of little different little things that i did to the car to keep it interesting for uh everybody to just keep watching and then um just looking at a build come together. So uh, once again, I appreciate all the support for those guys that have been supporting since day one and all the new subscribers, uh, appreciate you guys too. So today we are gonna be announcing the winner. I'm gonna pull the laptop out. We're gonna go on random.org and we're gonna pick a random winner off the comments from the previous video. So before we pick the winner, I just wanted to show you guys real quick what I got for the car. It's some uh, Skunk 2 lower control arms with uh, hardened bushings. So what I did was I already actually took out the passenger side. And as you guys can see, this bushing was shot because it's already sent down. It's not directly in the center. And then this one was definitely shot out. It's broken on this side. So um, it may look minimal, but I could definitely feel the play. And I had like a little clinking sound uh, when I would make a hard turn. It wasn't bad, but I could hear it and I could feel it. So um, I knew it was those bushings. These are the only bushings I hadn't replaced on the uh, whole build. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and put these puppies on. All right, so just real quick, we're gonna open this guy up so you guys can get a quick uh, visual of the difference in the bushing. So as you guys can see, the new bushing is right in the center. And then same thing with this one. And then this is the hardened bushing. And Skunk2 says this is 15% uh, stronger than OEM as far as how hard it is. So, um, yeah skunk 2 emblem uh this is my first time using skunk 2 suspension parts i figured i got the suspension so might as well keep the skunk 2 theme going so uh if we do any more suspension pieces it'll be uh skunk 2 um that's what i'm gonna go with on the car So that's the difference right there, guys. All right, so here we go, boys. Got the uh, lower control arms installed. Got to wipe them down a little bit. Make everything look fresh down here again. And uh, yeah, real simple to install, guys. If you guys do have a traction bar, just go ahead and unbolt it from the bolts. Don't take off the the bracket the bracket should let you swing it over because of the spherical joint and uh yeah just move it out the way uh real simple so instead of uh boring you guys and doing this side let's just uh worry about that later we're gonna go ahead and pick the winner now so i found this website because random.org does not um do uh a comment picker so that website I'm gonna show you guys. This is a video where you guys all made a comment. This website right here picks the random uh, comments. So it's gonna look for the comments. It's asking me allow duplicates and include replies. I'm gonna take off the replies because I did reply to most of you guys. I'll show you again. So now it's gonna say continue. And we have 71 comments total. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, pick a winner. I appreciate you guys. Um, good luck to everybody. And here we go. So that's the winner. Chris Bona. Uh, congratulations, I will be sending you out a $100 uh, Tri-State Motorsports gift card. 
you're gonna be getting a hat, a t-shirt, and some stickers. Let me know what color hat you want. Let me know what size t-shirt you are on this video. And once again, appreciate everybody, and we will keep you guys updated on the K24 Civic. You guys kind of beat me to the thousand subscribers. I didn't think we'd get there that fast. I thought I'd have the ECU, which I still haven't got. I'm still waiting for it in the mail. Should be here soon. Um, but yeah, hopefully we get to the roller soon. Uh, I'm going to do a few little minor updates to the car before we go to the uh, tune. And uh, I will keep you guys updated on what I'm going to be doing to it.